Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Daniel and I'm excited to share my personal experience with IELTS and how I scored 8.5 band by studying for only one week. Do note that just because I only had to study for one week, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you too. But that also doesn't mean that you'll have to take months to do it. If I can do it within a week, so many of you can as well. It will vary from person to person. If you're someone who has been using English for a few years already, whether in college, university, or in other places in life, you will only need one to four weeks of preparation before you'll be ready to score eight or above in IELTS. It all depends on how often you practice. From my experience and preparation, I'll share some tips on how you can prepare for IELTS within a month. So let's start with the basics. IELTS has four sections, listening, reading, speaking and writing. We'll go over each section separately. Let's start with listening. This lasts for 30 minutes in which you'll have to answer 40 questions. There are a total of four sections in this test. Make sure to familiarize yourself with the test format. You can find lots of sample tests online that you can attempt. Also, you can buy a few IELTS books for preparation. I'll suggest buying at least three to four books. Each book contains four sample tests along with the answers and you can practice from there. A few tips for listening would be to try and improve your listening skills by listening to podcasts, movies, seasons, while focusing on the accents and actively listening to each and every word that they are saying. Try to expand your vocabulary so that there is no surprise word in the test that you cannot spell. Quickly read through some of the sentences so that you know what to expect and what the speaker might refer to next, so you're not caught by a surprise. Make sure to review your answers in the end to ensure you did not make any spelling mistakes. Remember that you are given extra time in this section to go through your answers. Next up, we have reading. In reading, you have 60 minutes to attempt 40 questions. You'll have different task types in this one. I link the test formats below so you can go through them. And remember, there's a different reading test for academic and general IELTS. This section, just like listening, is one way you can score full because both the sections are objective. Let's move on to tips. Try to attempt as many reading sample tests as you can to familiarize yourself with the type of tasks that exist in this section. Skim and scan through the text that is given to you to get a gist of what the text is all about. Pay attention to the instructions given before the questions. For example, some types include not just true and false, but also the not given option as well. For this particular type, make sure you don't confuse false and not given. There are times when a certain information is not given at all and people consider the question as false instead of marking it as not given. Just like listening, this section requires that you practice as much as possible. Make mistakes, learn from them, and attempt more tests until you are confident in this section. If you have any questions or confusions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you on them. Thirdly, we have speaking. This section lasts for 10 to 15 minutes with three tasks. The first one is general questions about you. The second one is going to be, you will be given a topic to talk about for two minutes. The third one is, you'll be asked some further random questions. I'll suggest going through some YouTube videos of sample speaking tests and to learn from there. Afterwards, try to sit with a friend and let them ask you some sample speaking test questions, which can be taken from the internet. Record yourself and seek advice on how you can improve. A tip here would be to incorporate English language in your daily life because that's one way to familiarize yourself with the language. I know some people try to learn some fancy words, some fancy vocabulary to show off their skills, but if you don't use them regularly already, it's very easy for the examiner to figure out that you're trying to force certain words in the conversation which you normally do not use. Try to speak naturally and don't try to force an accent because accents do not have any weightage at all. You could have a very basic accent and still score really well. In fact, there are times when your accents will only make your words unclear. They only make sure that your English is understandable and clear. 
try to use different types of sentences like simple, compound, complex, interrogative, etc. You can Google for examples. The biggest tip would be to not be anxious. Understand that you're talking to another person and trying to express your opinions, sharing stories and just be confident and excited. Imagine that you're sharing your details with a person who is very interested in you. Even though that's not the case, they're just doing their job. Lastly, we have writing. For some reason, the writing section is the hardest to score well in. You'll have two sections in it and 60 minutes to attempt the entire test. For this one, keep in mind that running out of time in this section is very common. So you'll need to practice often while making sure that you're doing it within the allotted time. Try to make sure that you complete the first task within 20 minutes and spend the remaining 40 minutes on task 2. Again, there's a separate test for academic and general IELTS when it comes to writing. The tip here would be to use a moderate level of vocabulary instead of trying to use really fancy words and to try and incorporate at least three to four types of sentences as mentioned before. The tips are kind of similar for writing and speaking because they're somewhat related, in my opinion. Go through the sample tests given online or in the book and go through their feedback to ensure that you do not make those same mistakes. Make sure that your paragraphs have a structured flow and it doesn't feel like a bunch of different sentences just meshed together. Try to include examples in your text to support your claims that you're making in those paragraphs. Practice, practice and practice. Leave a few minutes in the end so that you can check the grammar and spelling of the sentences. I think it might be obvious from the way I have explained everything that listening and reading are somewhat similar while speaking and writing are similar. That's it for the four sections. The overall advice I will give you is as follows. Allocate sufficient time for each section during your practice sessions to simulate the real exam environment. Consistent practice is crucial for improving your language skills and familiarizing yourself with the test format. Make use of online resources, study guides, practice tests, and sample questions to enhance your preparation. Request feedback from te teachers and tutors to identify areas for improvement and refine your skills. Create a structured plan that covers all of the sections of the test and allow for ample time for revision and practice. As I said before, I will link a website in the description box for the test format but also for the marking scheme. You can go through it in more detail to understand exactly what to expect. If you have any questions or require any sort of suggestion or advice, feel free to comment below and I will make sure to respond. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video provided you with valuable insight and guidance on mastering IELTS. Best of luck on your journey and I'll see you in the next video.